they got the makeup like they don't last but this it lasts I can attest to that so we're looking That's just how I'll be when I'm in the mood and I'm enjoying my morning so far so welcome back to another video you guys um, thank you so much for choosing my channel and deciding to hang out with me today so as I said it's just another ordinary day ordinary morning I'm trying my best to be consistent so yeah I was just vibing out of it, like so grateful, just enjoying life and having fun, you know, learn to appreciate the small things. So this morning, um, <sighs> so in the middle of me introducing what you expect of this video, my mic decides to go out. <laughs> but anyways, what I was basically saying here was letting you guys know what to expect of this video um so i'll be making breakfast and then i'll be taking my car to the mechanic that's going to take like for the entire day so you'll see what comes up next in the video and also i'll be sharing to you my method on how i do my matte finish makeup look that will last long like throughout the day especially like sweat proof makeup look so i'll be definitely sharing that with you guys as well and i think i'm going to also have like a part two to this video where i'll be sharing my head wrap some of my favorite head wrap styles so enough of me talking now let's get back to the video All right, y'all, so it's time for me to go to the mechanic, get the car, start it out, and this is what I'm wearing to run errands, and of course, my Jesus sandals. So, this is how I'll be looking rough on the streets, but still cute. It's first street, you yeah, <laughs> You're just inquisitive. As you job, they want to be in the video, but that's a no. You just no. But it's alright guys, so this is how I'm looking. But my favorite bag, charger, water, and a snack. Cause I don't know how long it, it might take. The mechanic might take on the car, so yes yeah did i show you my nails that was like long overdue my hands are looking a bit hush ashy though but y'all see y'all see so cute so cute but yeah um i'll keep y'all posted y'all gonna see me back when i come back probably later today or probably tomorrow because I have quite a few things to get done. However, oh, though, Aline, you're doing the most. You're doing the most. You're doing the most. This is what I have to put up with. Alright, so something in my. But anyway, guys, I'll let you know what's up. And yeah, I'll see you later or tomorrow. I still need to show you like some of my favorite, I don't know, something in my, oh my god. I still need to show you like some of my favorite, um, my eyes are getting red. Some of my favorite, um, head wraps that I'm going to share with you. Uh, and yeah, how you can basically style in my, um, your different head wraps or styles for every occasion. So yeah. So we're looking. But 
yeah. Later, guys. Hey, y'all. So, it's the next day. <laughs> It's the next day. Yesterday was a whole lot and I had to like just take a breather. After getting the car checked out by the mechanics, then I got home. It was like about almost 3 p.m. in the afternoon and I was exhausted y'all. I even stopped and had to when i got home by the time i got home i was exhausted i was super hungry that was the time for me to like start cooking dinner and i started making dinner <laughs> immediately i'm like i gotta have to gonna have to like start my like continue my video which is the next day which is today so i started cooking and my gas went old well mark <laughs> listen i was expecting it to like to finish the cooking gas to finish like from a long time ago because i've been using it like from may or so and it really lasts all the way to december so yeah so i was expecting it to to finish like anytime soon and while cooking my cookie gas finished then i had to go back on the road to get gas because i didn't have the number for the persons who deliver the gas and i asked my neighbor they didn't have any number either so i had to drove there yesterday to get the gas while i was cooking so i my spy food was like half cooked <laughs> i was like come on but I'm just glad that that's out of the way but however though i was like oh my god i wanted to create my content and i didn't get the chance to create but anyways i'm here now and i'm going to finish up today so give thanks it finished when it finished because i didn't want to go on the road today and it's sunday and it's supposed to be my rest day because i have work tomorrow and i'm exhausted already just thinking about it <laughs> But um, so I got up, I right, took a shower and everything, had breakfast, had cereal, um, that's oats, flaxseed, lentil, flaxseed, oats, and ch chia seed as my breakfast. And I had a fruit, got mango, so yeah, delicious, delicious. I'm never ever going to get tired of eating oats, I am obsessed. I love oats but yeah now my time is for I'm going to do my makeup look that I promised that I want to I'm trying to like widen my scope when it comes on to doing my makeup and to be like to perfect that discipline that art because I really 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 enjoy doing my makeup like yeah so I want to be able to do it like on others as well um, without you know thinking twice or any mishap or anything so so it, i just want it to be like you know to be a part of you like be a part of me like easily so i can like like just master it like just say okay i'm self-taught and you know just yeah i just like learning stuff y'all um i still haven't gotten my headboard as yet it got delayed but the other stuff are here. I just want the headboard series so I can just like collect everything at once from the shipping company. Yeah, so that's that. So let's get into this makeup look. So I'm wondering if I can actually like, I don't know, I don't know. Serious. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see if i can get this matte finish this matte look that's basically what i want a matte look that's what i really want so yeah let's get into it a matte look so i'm going to use my corrector and 
um as you can tell i have like a bit of like dark spots so hyperpigmentation so oh <laughs> so i'm just going to go in with my la pro girl corrector color corrector concealer that helps a lot when it comes down to like it's running that helps a lot when it comes down to like getting rid of the dark spots that you really want to get rid of it's like a bit runny i don't know why probably it needs to shake up a bit yeah so bit of color character at the dark spots and this is going to be like completely different than the regular like makeup look like just add foundation and all of that and then after i'm finished adding this i'm just going to blend it out a bit Now I'm looking like a hot Cheeto snack. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to let that set for a bit. And then I'm going to use my translucent powder. Alright. Because remember, this is a wet proof makeup look so if you're if you have oily skin or sweaty skin or if you're going to the gym whatever it may be this will definitely help this is like stay like for the entire day all for the entire day trust trust this this right here This right here, gold. <laughs> I can't. I can't with myself. Holy grail! Holy grail! I'm just gonna go over a brush. Just going to pat that in. Okay. For my base, this is what I used for my base. And of course, I use moisturizer because you want to add like a barrier, a barrier between the makeup and your actual skin because we don't want anybody to be breaking out over here so i already added my primer and my moisturizer underneath for my barrier and then i'm going to go in of course with my foundation this is my favorite foundation to use i haven't had any problem with it and this is in the number this is fancy beauty um pro filter foundation in 410 color 410 this is my shade is exact 
I was using a lighter shade like last year and my skin become darker since lately so I'm using Forte no more just going to use what I love about this foundation, a small amount goes a long way. You're not seeing the orange concealer color anymore. The character color character, you're not no longer seeing it. Once you blend it out properly, it's not supposed to look all patchy patchy. And always pat in. You don't want to rub or drag it down. And this would be a good method for those who actually have like a warm um, undertone to use the orange character color character as your base for hyperpigmentation because you like we pop pimples so I have like three spots and like three over here from popping those pimples all right, so now I'm going to go in with my Pro Filter Concealer in the number 390. It's a bit more lighter, so I'm going to go on top where my dark circles are right there. can it be used on any skin tone this is X, the shade Expresso 05 in the fancy beauty matchstick like I had this from like two years now and look I have this much remaining I wonder why it last yo and money well spent uh, from a purchase this from Sephora two years ago and I have this much remaining only if all the other makeups could last that long <laughs> because my my love like my my darling always like saying uh, <laughs> the beauty industry is a scam I'm like okay because we spend all these money and by the time you start using all these makeup the makeup like they don't last but this it lasts I can attest to that well but it based and then again it based off how much the person is using like if they like use it heavy and how often they're using it so do y'all believe like beauty industry is actually a scam? Do y'all believe that? Because I don't think so. Well, majority of the time, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. 
because we're seeing a lot of benefits. Oh no, this is a contour stick. This is a contour stick. So I literally just go on my forehead like that, on the upper part of my cheeks, underneath to just like shape it a bit more that's all I do and as I said I don't need much and then I'll usually sometimes go on top of my nose the bridge of my nose and to just do that pretty easy pretty easy pretty easy get you one of these very easy so while that is setting I let the concealer set a bit on top of my foundation remember we're going for a matte finish while that's setting I usually just let it set a bit about like a few seconds like a minute 60 seconds one minute and then this is one of my favorite palettes. It's very warm. I really love this palette and it's so easy to use. I actually purchased this earlier this year from Sephora. One of my favorites. And I really love like warm neutral colors. So I always like go for shades like these that can actually wear it anything nothing dramatic nothing crazy can wear with anything any event suitable for each and every event so I like that set up it and my go-to colors are like this they don't have names so it's like this orangey shreddish warm brown type of undertone so I want to look warm and this so like these three are my go-to so I usually go over my lids with this color right here and then I'll just blend it out with this orangish well based on my mood this is what I like it has a bit of a sparkly to it like a sparkly shade to it and I like that like a bit of glitter so it's more of a metallic type of shade so these one two three and sometimes this sometimes i use this for like contour if i actually want to like drag out my my what do you call here my if i want to give myself like a cat eye type of vibe i usually use this i just drag out my wing a bit but yeah simple and I can travel anywhere with this these this and my concealer concealer matchstick and of course my pencils are the to go the to go so in the meantime well this is setting I think I was going to do a warm shade as I said this one with uh this fluffy brush nothing so dramatic I want everything to just blend in look matte so I usually just go over my lid like here add a bit of warmth
I'll see for now. <laughs> Y'all see the matte finish? Y'all see the matte? The matte finish? Gold. Gold. This method right here can last you like the makeup look can last like for the entire day the whole day so this is going to be my new to go look like whenever i have like an event and i don't want to set off my makeup this right here this technique right here yes it's a yes for me so translucent powder combined together with concealer That's the secrets. That's the secret right there. So my hands are already nude like I'm painting. Okay, so now we're going to use my setting spray. And then I'm going to go in a flat brush. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm using natural lighting so you can tell the change of light in the background. Look at that dark like ooh was flawless. Okay. Flawless. I think I'm in the wrong field. Why am I in, do why am I doing food sciences? I think I need to go into a different field. <laughs> I think I need to do more. I think yeah. I think I need to become a makeup artist or something. Of the concealer that I just blend out. And then I'm going to move on to my lips. Going to line my lips. I'm going to use a lip gloss as my base.
but it changed so much. I guess everything has its own con. Everything has its own downfall. So I'm just going to blend this out to get rid of the harsh line a bit. bit of highlight I use an Saraja Bologna palette for a bit of highlight like to get a bit of shimmer like on my nose to get a bit of shimmer right there on my nose I don't think I'm gonna put on any lashes, but I'll definitely use because my natural lashes are already like long. So I'm just going to use like my <coughs> mascara. Fave, fave, fave. 
from I was like doing beginner's makeup to now. <laughs> Ride and die. Ride and die. And of course, I'm going to do my. What do you call that again? Listen. I'm going to use my lashes. My eyelid. Eyelid. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that's cute. Simplicity goes a long way. <laughs> that's a cute wing. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. This is where it gets tr tricky, tricky, tricky. We nailed it. We did it. We have the exact wing on both sides of the eye. We nailed it. We did it. We did it. We have done it. Blush, no blush. I don't know. Probably just a little bit. Probably. But yeah, so that's the finished look for today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my head wrap. I need to take all these rubber bands out of my head. So yeah. Let me know what you think and leave a comment below. I think I'm going to do the head wrap for a different video because this is already this video is already long enough. So yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, I also hope that you have learned something today regarding the makeup look and how you can actually do your own makeup and how it's not hard, it's pretty easy. And just have fun with it so that you express yourself and do what you actually like and have fun and learn. Trust me, I was terrible at first when I was doing my makeup so now I practice these permanent and 
make perfection so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one bye